what we're going to do is help her really soften through her neck. So there's a big muscle here that runs from her pole all the way down to the inside of her humerus bone. And it's a super important muscle. I mean, they all are, but this one does a lot of things. So there's obviously one on each side and it advances the leg, it helps turn the neck, it raises and lowers the head. I mean, it does a bunch of things. And very often horses get very tight there or sore. And this is a really nice way to number one, connect with your horse, but also to relieve any strain, any tension in this muscle. So one way I do this is very gently have my, and, and don't have long nails, so please. If you're a horse person, you probably don't. But very gently what you wanna do is you wanna find the groove here and then have your hands, you're fine, honey. I'm just very gently putting my fingertips in that groove and lifting a little bit towards me, okay? It's super subtle. I'm just kind of lifting and holding it there. Yeah, that, that's, that's it. <laughs> so a student I taught this to, um, her so many horses love this, like it's so relieving. It just that she actually uses it for the, her horse had to have certain medical procedures where they used to have to sedate the horse. She actually, if she did this, the vet could do all the stuff he needed to do without sedating the horse. Yeah. He said he had never seen anything like it, like how, um, how focused her horse became when she did this. That's it. So you see I'm kind of lifting up, like kind of up towards the sky and towards me a little bit. And just holding it there. Like I said, it's, a, it's a, a way to release a lot of tension in this muscle and to improve her awareness of it so she can start to use herself in a healthier way. And that's it. So now that's a good response. So you know, one of the things we, we teach is to really pay attention to the horse's responses and how she just got really quiet there, although now she lifted her head. There's, it's a lot going on today with the wind and all that, so she's a little distracted, which is fine. And, you know, maybe when you're first learning this, you want to skip those days that are windy and your horse might be super distracted for one reason or another. But see how she softened with her eye there? She started to get, yeah. And always be, you know, and don't be lulled into, co you know, complacency where you think, oh, my horse is relaxed and they spook. So just always be mindful of your environment, your horse, of course, as you do this work. You don't want to be too focused on what you're doing that you're unaware of what's around you. So I just moved my hand up a little bit there. So each time, you know, I stay at a, at a place um, as long as she tells me to, let's put it that way. And see with the response I'm getting here, I want to stay here a little bit. Now I need to reorganize my own arm a little. That's it. And I just kind of came under because I had lost my, my, my contact there a little bit. I'm just going to come. So you see how it's like up and out a little bit. And the horse's neck vertebra they don't run across the top like a lot of people think they do. They actually, you know, start here, but they come down. So this is, in a way, kind of following that. That's it. And I could even use my other hand if I want to come like this and do both at once. There. And again, I'm, I'm watching her responses. Do a little bit there and then I just, you know, slid my fingers a little bit. So it's not like I'm moving several inches at a time. I'm just, I'm overlapping what I'm doing just kind of creeping my way up towards her pole. 
but you see how I'm getting under this muscle and just very gently lifting it. And when the horse feels that support, their nervous system can start to let go of the tension in that muscle. So remember, we're, we're always working on the level of the nervous system. That's it. So actually, I don't know if you noticed that, but I slid my fingers down a little bit back to where, because, and you see how she closed her eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is something that comes with experience, with practice, you know, with paying attention to your horse. That's it. See, I'm coming back to where we, you know, where I was earlier. Don't worry, I'll, I'll eventually get all the way to her pole. But when you see a response like this, you don't just stop. Like, you don't just keep going with your agenda, right? You want to you wanna provide the horse with the most meaningful experience, with the best information. And that means I'm teaching her how she can let go of her tendency to have these really tight neck muscles. To me, it's always such a nice thing to be able to help your horse find comfort in their own body, right? We want, we want that. We want that for ourselves. We want that for our horses. And it's a way of giving back to your horse. So many horses really have a lot of, you know, a strong habit about contracting here. So I'm going to sneak up here now. And as you get closer to her pole, right, it's going to be more difficult just because the way a horse is conformed. Whereas here I can really get my fingers under, right, and do a lot. Here there's not going to be that much tissue to play with. And that's fine. Just, but you still have the same idea of lifting a little bit. Watching her response, she's closing her eyes. Yeah, this is definitely like her signature uh, move. <laughs> See, but there now, and so I don't know if she's also looking at something, but that could be maybe a response. I noticed that a couple of times she, she looks. So, so we have to be mindful of that, right? Maybe she was anxious about that spot. Maybe there was some discomfort. Even though it's very gentle, it may be that she's still protecting. So I'll just have you go all the way. You can come under here. Now, of course, here, right, you feel the vertebra right there, right? So you just kind of pretend you're lifting the tissue. There really isn't that much. That's it. Good girl.